About the time the very first Raspberry Pi came out, I had the idea of making a spherical case. Something a little bit different, more usable than just like a block case that you sit on a shelf, a table, whatever. I wanted to create something that you could use, you could play with, throw around and things like that. So, I give you the Pi Ball. Some Raspberry Pi cases are made of wood, they're made of uh, you know, plastic, square, boxy, with the shape of an arcade cabinet, whatever, right? So I want to do something a little different. I wanted a spherical case, something that you could take the Pi and throw it around. On board I have wireless everything, wireless HDMI adapter, wireless keyboard mouse adapter, wireless Wi-Fi adapter. I have an accelerometer and the Raspberry Pi. Everything is running off of two batteries. One battery is powering the HDMI adapter, and one battery is powering the Pi and all of its uh, peripherals. Time for the ultimate endurance test. Can the Pi and all of its friends inside take these here stairs? Yikes. Awesome. <laughs> Let's take a look inside. Let's turn off the LEDs. <laughs> Look at this insanity. This is what's inside the pie ball. I have a little breadboard stuck. I have the accelerometer on there and some breakouts for um, uh, the LEDs and uh, powering them. A capacitor for filtering the input. This is an 8400 milliamp hour battery. This is powering the LEDs and the Raspberry Pi itself. And this USB hub gives the power to the uh, LEDs and the Pi. So flipping over, flipping over, we have the Raspberry Pi, we have the wireless HDMI adapter. On top we have uh, uh, an external battery, yet another external battery which is powering the HDMI only and we have the two key wireless keyboard and mouse adapter and wireless internet. So, turn this on. So when I move this around it detects motion. All the while it's still connected to my television remotely. Take this and Oh, no wires. <laughs> Inside I also have an LED strip that I can turn on and off as I see fit. And using the accelerometer function, I just turn that on so that when I move the ball, it'll light up based on movement. And the idea was, like, the faster it moves, the con more constant it stays. Uh, so we're going to have to bowl this down something success this one is going to be hard to see but I put in a feature that would count the number of uh, spikes or let's say you're trying to bounce the pie ball or something like that it would count the number of bounces that you have so here's the pie ball and now I'm going to run that particular function. So you can see there's a number in the upper left hand corner there. Wait, doo -doo -doo. And it counts the number of uh, spikes. 